For this year, I set my goal as World Cup in bouldering and World Cup in lead. And I've been training for that three times a day, six days a week. It's been tough. I think my biggest rival is definitely myself. I need to find the right reasons to make my mind believe what I want to achieve. Two weeks ago, I was on a bouldering World Cup in China. I didn't do very well and I got sick. I got flu, I got diarrhea. Now it's six days since I started climbing again after the sickness. And every day it feels better, so that's good. My level of power was still not as I would like to have it, but it was almost there. So I hope it's not going to be a total tragedy here in Germany. <laughs> It's quite early morning. I arrived here at 7 a.m. to start warming up. Morning. Even though it might seem that it's easy to make the semis, you really have to give it 100% to be really sure. I need a national t-shirt, harness, chalk bag and shoes. For this competition, I decided to go with the La Sportiva Python. I feel I need simple and soft and downturn shoe so I can work fast with my feet. I usually warm up one easy route, then something more powerful. Here is advantage that I can do something on a campus board to save my skin. And then something harder to get a little bit pumped and now I will be waiting until my turn comes. Still the sickness, definitely, I can feel, but I hope my performance today will be enough for the semi-finals. <laughs> I saw Roman de Grange climbing and he looked pretty strong. He's for sure a candidate for the victory. Chamonix, ça reste toujours un, un objectif très particulier pour moi. Ben, forcément, c'est à la maison, donc il euh, n'y a, a qu'une envie, c'est de briller, d'être le, le, le plus performant possible. Adam, c'est, je pense, un, un des, des grimpeurs le plus compétiteur. Donc du coup, on se côtoie souvent euh, aux quatre coins du monde dans les, dans les compétitions. Et après, escaladement parlant, c'est euh, un génie. Donc du coup, il est capable de tout. Euh, dès dès qu'il grimpe, il est capable de tout faire. Donc c'est juste une question de bon feeling ou de mauvais feeling pour lui pour savoir si, euh, comment ça va se dérouler. J'allais dire, c'est pas forcément le plus fort qui va gagner sur une compétition. C'est celui qui, à l'instant T, sera le, le, plus, le plus pertinent et le plus précis dans, dans sa prestation. Quoi. Donc c'est le... And the most nervous I am right before I start climbing. That's the crucial moment to turn into this psychological mode when I have no doubts, I have no fear, no nervousness, and I just think about climbing. When I'm climbing in the competition and everything works 100% well, I don't hear the crowd, I don't hear the commentator. The most important thing is focus on yourself.
The first route was quite simple, pumpy, powerful. I definitely got quite pumped, but I'm quite happy with my result. Now I go to buy some food and just waiting for the next climb. The second is definitely going to be harder, more powerful, more bolder sections, which is better for me. Adam and me are really good friends. I've known him for a really long time already. Yeah, I was already like the famous Adam Andra back then. I think it motivated a lot of comp climbers once he stepped into it. The higher the level is in the World Cup, the more psyched you get as an athlete. Climbing in Chamonix in front of this huge crowd in finals is always just a, an amazing feeling. Just before I climb, I sit down, tie in, put my shoes on, and just try to think about some piece of climbing that I did in the previous weeks, and just trying to convince my mind that I will climb just as good as the moment that I'm thinking about. I did pretty good, I'm in second place. It's actually better than I expected. I had no clue what level I am at. Ten days ago I was lying in the bed and I was sick and I felt weak. And I was not really sure if I would be able to get back into the shape. I don't think I felt like super strong, but I'm still hoping it's gonna get better and better and tomorrow, especially for the finals. Well, let's see. <laughs> 